This video is brought to you by G2A.com. So a lot of you guys have been asking for an updated version of my striker build. So I thought I would go through the current striker builds I have at the moment. Sadly, I was actually just recording everything and yeah, the microphone stopped working for some reason. So yeah, let's do this again. And yeah, I'm still doing personal builds. If you guys are interested in that, you hit me up with an email on widsdota at gmail.com. Sadly, that is nothing I can offer for free though, but you have so many build videos on my channel right now. So yeah, so I'm gonna go through my, my group PVP build first here. So the group PVP build is really similar to the solo one. It's just basically the difference is that I run around 7,500 stam on my group build. And on my solo one, I run 6k. I'm gonna run through both though. But yeah, when I shake the solo one, I'm gonna just do that quick because it's so similar, right? So yeah. I can shake the guns first though. So when I play in group, I usually run two ARs. One with responsive, unforgiving, competent and focusing on headshot damage, right? Just to use, which I use when you can hit a lot of headshots, right? And then I have another one have another one with deadly unforgiving competent which i use at further range like medium long range and just with critical hit damage right so yeah as you can see here and i do have a house which i rarely use deadly responsive here that's the only one i have pretty good talents though i guess if you play solo you kind of want to have responsive unforgiving but deadly responsive is good when you play in group just critical hit damage on that as a major. And I do have a showstopper as well, which I have been using recently when I play solo. Sometimes in group as well, but most of the time in solo, just to be able to get quick stacks. That's basically what I use it for. Responsive, unforgiving. And yeah. And basically, if I play House or Showstopper, which I don't do often, but if I have a Showstopper with my M4, I will still only use AR damage for it, right? So the gloves are all, always the same focused around AR, right? Because House or Showstopper will... Like, I don't play it as a main, right? Go to my sidearms here. I have a double barrel with Determined Destructive Predatory, which I use to get... Predator and determine right if I finish somebody. That what <clears throat> that's why you see me swap to the side arm and finish it off, right? Yes, to get predator and de determined. If I don't have my ult ready, I will swap to this pistol. You could use a blue one, but I didn't have mats for it, so I just have a low gear score high end one. Determine cool at it. And yeah, let's go through the striker then quick. So I think in the recent one I had crit chance focused, which I kind of dropped like two months ago since yeah there's too many <clears throat> there's too many predators so like EDR like you definitely need to have it especially if you play solo so health and EDR running EDR mods as well my mask major as EDR as well burn resistance EDR mods why doesn't that work uh, striker knee pad with health like, I don't go EDR on the knee pads, though. Like, I go healthier. And, yeah, stam. Bleed, disrupt, burn. I would like to have shock instead of probably burn or disrupt. Yeah. And then more exotic damage resilience mods. Pulse critical hit chance mods as well. Health, burn, firearms. Stam, EDR, pulse critical hit chance. Gloves, AR damage. Crit chance, crit damage. Crit chance on the holster. And pulse critical hit chance. Yeah. You can go and shake. Through the, the talents. Or the skills, I mean. So I'm using always immunizer. Which is really good. I have uh, pulse scrambler as well. If I play in group, a lot of times I will run booster. And I still use the, the pulse critical hit chance performance mode because I'm yeah, I'm basically too lazy. 
And depending on what my teammates run, I usually run blue. Blue or tackling. I mean, it dep depends on the what your teammates are using, right? Group, you need combat medic, nothing new here, like strike pack, crit save, precision. Sometimes I like to use on the move. But yeah, I mean, that's basically what I run in group, right? And now we can check the, the solo build. Bam. So this is basically the solo build. I think some gear mods are off. You see, I, I only, I like I'm even missing a gear mod here. So I usually run 6,000 stamps. I think six, like, I usually have one gear mod over, so like 6,200 or something. So it works in last hand because I'm lazy. <laughs> but basically, I just want to have 6k stamina and the rest in firearms. So yeah. I will sh I will fix this later though. Because it's a bit off now, I'm not going to look now though. But yeah, let's look through the... I guess I have a bit different weapons here. No. But yeah, basically using the, the headshot damage M4. And then I usually have the long range M4. But I have been using showstopper a little bit here just to get stacks. But yeah, most of the pieces here I think are gonna be the same, or at least the same role. So health, exotic damage, exotic damage on the gear mod, exotic damage burn, stun. Like it's really similar as the other build, right? So you just throw through, like check through here. Should have EDR here, but I guess I've been lazy. Have to fix that. Health, burn. As you can see, it's basically the same, right? The only thing that is a bit different is the, the main stat. We go to the talents, use immunizer and pulse. I think pulse is just too good to, to skip. A lot of people run immunizer and booster. But I mean, I play solo manant and having a pulse is just way better. Basically, get a free wall hack, you deny their precision or their big pulse, and yeah, it's just it's just better in my opinion. Not for raw damage, but yeah, just in in general, right? So crit save, strike back, precision, and on the move is what I use. It's for talents. And yeah, I guess that's basically the the solo build, right? And I haven't checked here, but my EDR is around 35%. If you guys are wondering about that. Yeah, let's check the, the PvE build here quick as well. It's a bit different. I showed this one in another video. And I did Amherst Apartment, right? So a lightweight M4 with predatory, destructive and determined. For a lot, lot of utility, right? Like this build is basically done for soloing PV content, right? I'm using destructive instead of ferocious because it's 15%, so it's more and it applies to all enemies, right? Only to the armor though, but yeah. Determined just to get your ultimate back and the skills back faster. And like, I think you have to kill like what, eight NPCs and get your ult back, so yeah, really nice to have. And the damage is like more than enough anyway. All headshot damage here. Because it's PV so it's really easy to hit headshots and... Yeah, there's no... There's no modifier like in PvP. In PvP you have 0 0.8 modifier on the headshot damage. So even if you have 100% headshot damage you will only get 80%, right? Which is so stupid, but enough about that. <laughs> if I use a sniper, I usually use this one, Prepared Brutal Component. I would like to swap Brutal to maybe Disciplined. Maybe even Destructive if it's only for PvE, but that's what I have at the moment. Yeah, check through the gear. This is going to be a little bit different compared to the other one since it is PvE focused. So I'm actually playing Health on Kill. Because if I play solo, like, yeah, it's, I only get 15% health on kill in total. But, I mean, if you kill a lot of NPCs, like, that will actually add up. So, yeah, I'm using health on kill. Like, I don't really need the skill haste. I don't really need the EDR. So, I think health on kill is just better. Not that min max here, as you can see, though. But, yeah. 
purple gear mods with damage to elite. Sadly, I haven't, like, I missed the 4% ones. Or I didn't miss it, I was just too lazy to, to go and buy them, basically. But that's what I have there. Help and kill on the mask. You could go enemy armor damage, but I feel like the damage is good enough. 12% damage to elite. Another purple gear mod there with damage to elite. You want to get the damage to elite here as a minor on the knee pads. The rest is not too important here, really. Health, stam. Damage to elite. Pulse critical hit chance. Health, firearm spam resistance. Like pretty similar right like you guys should know this by now right the gloves are a bit different as well i choose to run health and kills so i get like 15 percent as i said enemy armor damage and assault rifle damage so i do skip crit chance and crit damage but since i am playing headshot damage and pv you can hit a lot of headshots so i don't think it's too big of a sacrifice enemy armor damage is great having that extra health on kill like why not Reload speed on the holster. I mean, I swapped this because of uh, the recent global event, I think. But you could run crit chance or health. Like I don't think it's a big difference here, really. But it's nice to have that extra reload speed. I think I have. I have it on the grip as well, so I have like almost 50%. So it's all right, right? Pulse critical hit chance. Looking at the talents, I don't try an Im immunizer. I run pulse and sticky flash. I mean, at some uh, missions, you want to swap the talents for sure, right? But this is usually what I run. And recover link, just have that sheet death, right? And since I have the term, I get it back quick. But I mean, at some missions, maybe you want to have a blue or tactical link. But most of the time, I use recover link. Kind of saves you a bit, so you have... So you can't fuck up and, like, not die, right? Combat Medic, I guess I usually run Crit Saver, but I guess I played in group. Precision, on the move, and uh, one is none. I don't think I need Strike Back too much on this build. I have Determined, but I mean, Strike Back is always good. Like, you can get a lot of value with that talent for sure. But I don't use it here. But yeah, that's basically the PvE build. This is the Sniper stats, of course. 221 headshot damage. So 23% enemy armor damage, then we have 15 from destructive, that's 38, plus like 23 or 24 from the, from the M4, so that's a lot of enemy armor damage. 350k HP. No EDR, I mean we're only fighting NPCs, so it doesn't really matter. And yeah. 43% damage to elite, but yeah, that's basically what I use in PV. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build video with the updated builds, like all of my striker builds. I got in a lot of like comments about the PV PvP build and like my striker builds. And I thought they were a bit more updated, but they were not. But yeah, so this is basically what I run now. I don't really like to do the I think this is my third striker build video in 1.8 like I, I don't like to do that many I thank oh you, shit my guys, thank you and the people of New York so I'm day. currently recording a video but somebody subscribed so let, let's shout out to him dude king and 9 with a fresh new twitch prime sub dude appreciate the sub and support dude and yeah it's crazy dude getting subs when you not even streaming man <laughs> but yeah I think I covered everything. I have uh, just to update you guys. I know last week I didn't upload that many videos, but I have a lot of division content right now. We had a really, really good man on like three, four days ago. That's probably it was like 40 minutes long or something, which was just so much slaying, dude. Like I think you guys will love that one. So that will come soon. And I have some solo PvP. I have some. Some more group PvP. I have I have a lot of content, so yeah, I should. You should be seeing that coming this week, but I should just stop stop talking now, dude. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, have a nice day, and yeah, see you on the stream later, maybe. Take care. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.